Welcome to LinuxSim.com. In this session, you are going to see about how to install PHP Server Monitor on CentOS 7. PHP Server Monitor is an open source web based monitoring tool that checks whether your site and server are up and running over the web interface and you can manage your services and websites. And also, you can able to manage users for each server by using mobile phone and email addresses. For installing, PHP Server Monitor. For that, first you need to install the needed package. For that command, yum install hcdpd mariadb server php php cur php cli php in mysql php in pdu and press enter The packages that are needed for installing PHP Server Monitor has been get successfully installed in my CentOS 7 machine. Now start the MariaDB service and HTTPD service. For that command, systemctl start MariaDB dot service and press enter. The MariaDB service has been get started. Now start the HTTPD service. For that command systemctl start hctpd dot service and press enter. Now the hctpd service also has been get started. Now do the secure installation for for MariaDB. For that command mysql underscore secure underscore installation and press enter and press enter and press y to set the root password repeat it again and press enter press enter now the secure installation has been get completed successfully now create a database for php server monitor installation for that log into mysql for that command mysql hyphen u root hyphen p and press enter and type the password now create a database for that command create database and the name of the database now the database has been get created now create one user and uh, grant all the permission for accessing the database for that command grant all on the name of the database dot star to the name of the user at localhost identified by and give the password for that user and press enter now the user has been get created and he is having full permission to access the database php monitor now flush the privileges for the command flush privileges and press enter sorry i have typed wrongly flush privileges and press enter now the privileges has been get flushed now give exit 
Now download the PHP server monitor package. For that, move to the Apache root directory. For that, command cd slash var www html address center wget space and the following link to download the PHP server monitor and press enter. The package has been get successfully downloaded. Now we extract the package for that command tar space iPhone zxvf and the name of the package and press enter. The package has been get extracted. Here you can able to see the extracted package. It is in the name of PHP server MON hyphen 3.1.1. You have to rename it as PHP server MON for that command MV space PHP it has to be renamed it as PHP server MON and press enter now the file has been get successfully renamed now set the owner permission for that command CHO hyphen capital R Apache dot Apache and the path of the directory where wwhtml php server mode and press enter now the permission has been get changed successfully now we have to set the time zone for that open the php file vim etc php dot ini inside the file change the time zone here you have to set your time zone I am going to set my time zone after setting the time zone save the file now move to the web browser to access the php server monitor here type the ip address of your machine slash php server mon and press enter here you can able to see the front page of the PHP server monitor. Now click let's go. Type the database name and the username that you have created for PHP server monitor. And the name of the user. And the password. And click save config. Here you can able to see your configuration file. You have to copy this code and move to the terminal and move inside PHP server monitor directory and create config.php file and paste the following code. Now save the file. Now again move to the web browser and click I have saved the configuration. Click recent. Now you have to create the admin login. Give the username, password and the email address and click install. Now the installation process has been get completed. Now click go to monitor. Now sign in and click login. Here you can able to see the default sites that are being get monitored. If you like to add a new monitor for that click on service and click add. Here you need to give the label and the IP address. and the type of the service after that click save here you can able to see a new web server has been get added and it is going to be get monitored now now move to the status here you can able to see the web server has been get added thank you for watching